Hello everybody and welcome to another instalment of Jono's Graveyard Jaunts. If you are enjoying the content of the channel so far, can I please ask you to like and subscribe so we can venture further afield to ever more interesting places. Now I want to share a quick fact with you. I think it's quite an interesting one and uh, I've often wondered about it. What's the ratio of people alive to those who have actually passed away? And that ratio is 15 to 1. So for every person alive today, 15 have passed away. So today we're at the stunning Church Rock Cemetery in the city of Nottingham. And it is called Church Rock, Church Rock Cemetery due to the sandstone mine the cemetery is built upon. Church Rock Cemetery was founded in 1848 and is a Grade 2 listed site that consists of over 14,000 graves with 43,000 bodies in the cemetery. The site itself occupies a space of over 13, 13 acres of land and the site is located on top of a hill where executions used to take place. And this itself is a map of Nottinghamshire and it shows where the county sits in relation to the UK and the second map shows where Nottingham sits in relation to Nottinghamshire itself. Now today we're going to be talking about a man who, like me, if you've ever indulged in a bit of cycling, whether for leisure, fitness or as a serious cyclist, this man's name will resonate with you. The feature of today's video is a man by the name of Frank Bowden, who founded the Rally Bicycle Company in Nottingham. Frank was also a British businessman and an inventor. In later life, he would become Sir Frank Bowden and he was also awarded the title of a first baronet. So what's a first baronet? A baronet was first created by James I in May 1611 and a baronet is not part of the peerage and ranks below that of a baron, but a baron is essentially an hereditary title awarded by the British Crown. Now Frank was born in Exeter in Devon on the 30th of January 1848. His father was William Bowden and his wife was Louise. At 13, Frank was a scholar and became a trained lawyer and a very astute businessman. And Frank in turn made his first fortune at the age of 24 in the stock market whilst he lived in Hong Kong, where he had moved to from Devon. His health was severely decimated by the harsh Asian climate, so he moved to San Francisco to try and better his health. Whilst there, he met and married an American heiress in 1879 by the name of Amelia Francis. They had six children together. With his health continuing to flounder, he returned to the UK in the 1880s. On return to the UK, he visited various doctors in Harrogate and in 1885, doctors gave him only six months to live. Bowden took up cycling on his doctor's advice and bought a small cycle from a small shop on Rally Street in Nottingham. This cycle was far superior from anything out there at the time with changeable gears. Now cycling at this point in time was less than a century old and was far less commonplace than it is today. And Bowden was so impressed with his recovering health from cycling that he bought the company in 1887. The company at the time were making bicycles three times a week. Now with Bowden at the helm, production rose massively, so they needed a bigger workshop and they in turn moved to bigger premises which consisted of a four-storey factory on Russell Street. Bowden called the business Rally Cycles to commemorate their original address where the bikes were made. Now this is a clip from the famous Alan Silito movie Saturday Night, Sunday Morning, starring the young Albert Finney, Finney in a lead role. It's a superb black and white movie. Now the film itself actually starts with an opening scene filmed on the shop floor at Rally Cycles in the city of Nottingham and it was filmed in 1960 and you can see the young Albert Finney operating, I believe it's a turning machine, on the shop floor. <laughs> Fifty-four. 
950 bloody five. Another few more and that's a lot for a Friday. By 1896, Rally was the largest bicycle manufacturer in the world and occupied 7.5 acres of land on Faraday Road in Nottingham. In 1903, Bowden founded the three-speed gear syndicate, which became known as the Sturmey Archer Gear Company in June of 1908. Also that year, after the financial crisis, Frank secured the company of Rally Cycles with his own money and took complete control. And at the time, the Rally Bicycle Company was worth £200,000, about £27 million in today's money. And by 1913, 1,700 workers were producing over 60,000 cycles each year. Now, Howard son Frank was starting to take more control of the business as Frank was advancing in years. And the outbreak of World War I saw Frank Bowden give over production to munition manufacturers with over 1,000 workers supporting the war effort. And Frank was made a baronet in 1915 in turn for his efforts in supporting the war effort. Now, Frank Bowden, then Sir Frank Bowden, died in 1921 of heart failure at his home. He was 73 years old and he left an estate of £475,000 and all the business interest to his son, Harold. Now, Frank had purchased the very lavish Bestwood Lodge, which was living in at the time of his death. Now, Frank's death did not actually mark the end of the company, but rather the end of the beginning. Howard in turn moved the company into motorcycling as well as the cycling market, thus moving the company itself to even greater heights. And by 1953, Rally had 9,000 strong workforce producing over 1 million cycles a year. And in the 80s, Rally produced iconic bikes like the Chopper, the Grifter and the Burner. The Rally Chopper was named as one of the design icons in November of 2006 by the BBC. Rally eventually expired in 2003 after surviving and supporting another war effort, obviously, um, in World War II. Rally was eventually bought out by the Dutch company Acel in 2012. So here we are, guys, at the final resting place of Sir Frank Bowden. Justice of the Peace, founder of Rally Cycles Corporation, which went on to be the biggest cycling company in the world. And we'll just read it. We'll go right up to the top, guys, and then we'll come down. So this is in Church Rock Cemetery in Nottingham. It's a really beautiful cemetery and absolutely well worth a visit. It's on different levels and it's absolutely fascinating, as you've seen by the footage. So let's just read what the inscription says then. Also of Sir Frank Bowden, BTJP, who died April the 25th, 1921, aged 73 years. In loving memory of Cloud Bowden, who died 21st of October, 1906, aged 16 years, and his sister Winifred, oh bless him, so obviously lost a child, very, very young. Wife of Harold Moat, MDRAMC, who died 1st of May 1915, aged 31 years. So here you have it, guys. And if you do want to get out to the cemetery, it's actually in that they split the cemetery up into various zones. And this is known as the Rock. And what you'll do is you'll go in from Mansfield Road and you'll turn right, and it's literally probably about five minutes' walk. Um, you can get a specific reference um, on Deceased Online, but they will charge you. But absolutely well worth a visit thank you for everything that you've done frank for cycling uh, i had many of your products over the years a rally pulsar and a rally record racing cycling they were superb and obviously you produced the iconic um chopper cycle which as we know got an award uh, by the bbc as a design icon award and i hope you're resting in peace Frank, Claude, Harold and Winifred, thank you for everything you've done.